Hey there, Elizabeth Scala here from elizabethscala.com. I think in this video I'm going to share a little secret. Do you want to hear it? Come a little closer. Okay, not that close. All right, so if you go back through videos, you'll see a trend. For several videos in a, in a row, I look the same. <laughs> this is really funny, so bear with me. Um, what happens to me in terms of video is it's a production. There's a camera, there's lighting, there's quiet days with not a lot of construction noise outside, which has happened in the past. <laughs> um, there's me feeling ex excited and inspired to talk to the video, having ideas to speak about. There's the hair and the makeup, okay? Anywho, it takes a lot of work. So I don't just do a video, I do several in a row. There's my secret. That being said, I know that when this video comes out will be several months from when I shot it. So it'll be interesting for me even to kind of look at it as I'm putting it up on YouTube to say, ooh, your hair's different, or ooh, you look a little older, or whatever the case may be, right? I've actually been told this many times. When I step off a plane to give a talk, my Elizabeth, you're so much younger than what we expected. I, I don't know how, I mean, you can see me on a video. Or, my Elizabeth, your hair is always changing. First it's straight, then it's really long, then you've got those highlights, like what's going on? Your hair's always different. I'm in my 30s, you know, I like to change it up. I get bored at looking myself with the same hairdo every day. <laughs> One time I've even tried something crazy which was going like kind of reddish, purplish with like white streaks underneath. I didn't keep that very long. It wasn't, it, when I looked at myself, I felt like I was wearing a wig. Anyway, the long story short of this is the point for today's video, work hard, play harder. <laughs> and what do I mean by play harder? So by shooting all these videos in a day, then the rest of the time is for other things. I don't have to do this whole production with all my stuff every single time. Or my hair. Um, it's not staying the same because I'm changing it up. I'm having a good time. I'm experiencing what my personality wants in that moment. When you play, when you do things outside of work, when you do things not related to nursing at all, for me it's gardening, dancing, going to jam band shows, listening to music, playing with my dog, being outside, I could go on and on. When you do non-nursing things, you will fill yourself up. Gosh, your energy feels um, high and alive and vibrant. Your physical body feels strong and happy-go-lucky. Um, your mental emotional state is carefree and exciting and sociable and adventurous. Maybe. I'm just describing words that are coming to me right now. Uh, my point is when you fill yourself up outside of work, when you play hard, you can work harder. That is seriously the motto I have carried through since like I think high school. Work hard, play harder. Or play hard, work harder. They kind of interchange, right? One informs the other. When you work really hard, you feel so accomplished. Gosh, I'm going to let my hair loose this weekend. When you play really hard, when you enjoy yourself, when you spend time with family, when you fill your cup up with things that you enjoy, gosh, you can't wait to get back into work and help those patients. So be a well-rounded nurse. Change it up from time to time. Change your look up. Change whatever you need to change up. Your environment, your physical space. Rearrange the furniture. I don't know. Do things outside of work to enjoy work that much more. Thanks for watching and for more resources, more tips and information, visit elizabethscala.com. Thank you.